How's it going, everyone? I waited so long to get in the game. I waited like two hours plus the extra like three hours when I was just camping on the main menu screen waiting until it finally worked. Because here's the thing, right? Modern for 3, I think all morning, not just Modern for 3 either. Apparently Black Ops 1 and 2 were also down. Uh, it, it was down, okay? That, that's what happened. Fallen, really? But yeah, it was all just kind of down. I don't... I, I, I don't know what happened, but it's back now. It's absolutely crazy how these games are still being officially maintained. Kind of. I mean, they're still, like, heavily broken when it comes to matchmaking. I don't think they're gonna fix it until... At least until Xbox finally buys them. Holy shit, is no one gonna play objective? There's 18 people in this lobby, and not a single one is gonna play objective. That's... This is a joke. Oh my gosh, can I please hit my shots? Okay, that was I was actually kind of owning there. Not even gonna lie. I'm playing with the M4 right now. To be honest, this has become kind of my go-to Call of Duty gun. I kind of just tried it in Modern Warfare 2, just because I got curious. Okay, this guy keeps sending me chat invites. I think it's it's because I shared the lobby. Little do they know, it's full right now, full of people playing Modern Warfare 3. Holy shit! I don't actually think I've ever played a game of Ground War in Modern Warfare 3. At least the original. Like I've obviously played it on Plutonium, but aside from that, never really played. Never managed to get into a game of Ground War on the 360. Hello? Oh sh! How do I not see that guy? Oh my goodness! Man, the, the M4 absolutely shreds in Modern Warfare 2. I don't know why nobody talks about it. That thing's a laser, and I mean it's okay in Modern Warfare 3. It's not the best gun. Like obviously the ACR, like objectively, is better. But I don't know. I feel like it's more fun to use. There's so many guns that just get slept on just because people want to use the OP ones, and it's kind of it's kind of unfortunate. Dude, when I was not really taking a break, I was like away from my PC for like three months. I, I still on my uh I got my Series X there, and I kept my copy of Modern Warfare 3. I thought you know what, screw, I'm gonna get Prestige One. That didn't happen, but I mean, I, I there was a brief period of my life. Where in 2021, I grinded out Modern Warfare 3 on the Xbox 360. Obviously, it wasn't that easy because I could rarely find lobbies. But it's all the easier to find lobbies in Modern Warfare 3 than on Modern Warfare 2. I don't know why everyone says it's like impossible to find lobbies on Modern Warfare 3. That's just kind of a myth. Well, it depends on region, I guess. Maybe it's hard to find lobbies in the US. Because I'm in the UK right now. It's actually not that hard. It just takes a bit. But it's more likely on this game that you're just going to find lobby instantly than on Modern Warfare 2. What? Oh, thank God he hit marked. I don't have the MSR unlocked yet, so I'm, I'm just not gonna bother sniping. And I'm like absolutely horrendous with the L11. You, don't, you do not want to watch my L11 gameplay. I low-key want to make a video that's like making plutonium IW5 look like Modern Warfare 3 on the 360. Because I know for a fact that's possible. There's some like settings, which I don't want to mention right now in case anyone's going to copy me. But th there, there is a way to do it. And I want to kind of make a video on that. It might be the next video. I don't know. Most people would say leave a like if you want to see that. But I mean, I'll probably just make it anyway. You don't have to leave a like. Just to be brutally honest. Leaving a like does nothing. Like, it boosts me on the algorithm, sure, but that's not gonna be the reason the next video comes out. What the f- I'm getting see, I don't care. No one's going for objectives, really? I mean, they are going for objectives, like, barely. I'm, like, the only one going for this one. That's so weird. Is this just, like, normal on 360 games? They used to Call of Duty games. Like, just nobody goes for objective anymore? At least on ground war. I don't know. Maybe they go for it on, like, regular domination. God, I hate this map. I- I already said that like forever ago, I'm just gonna say it again because I have nothing else to say. This map sucks. It's so weird. It's like the layout is so strange. Infinity Ward does a lot of things great, but it's rare that they make an insanely good map. That almost never happens. Treyarch always has the absolute best Call of Duty maps. Infinity Ward has like a, the occasional like gold moment, of course. You know, stuff like Rust. When they made when they made Rust, that's a gold moment. That's a top five Call of Duty map of all time. And then they make fucking Fallen. Skidro underground for some people not for me. It's like my it's like a top five map for me But for most people also basically like 80% of the maps in Modern Warfare 2019 apply to this I don't know how they suck at so bad at making maps sometimes, but I mean dude I'm, What am I gonna title this video? I should be like it's gonna be like such a convoluted and weird title Modern Warfare 3 ground war on the Xbox 360 in 2022 also, the SM2 video from yesterday is actually doing pretty well, so thanks for that. I appreciate it. I'll make sure to make an SM2 video as soon as it drops. If you work on SM2 and are finally ready to make like a creator beta, please sign me up. I know I'm not that big, but I I, I want to play so bad. Alright, 21 and 15. Considering the fact that I haven't played any Legacy Call of Duty on 360 in like, I think two weeks. 
That's not that bad. I'm gonna play a couple more rounds since I don't think I'm gonna get into a full Ground War Modern Warfare 3 game in like quite a while for now. This is this is huge. Who wrote a C Town? Come on. We got all the spots figured out. I mean, that's what happens when you've played Modern Warfare 3 ever since it came out. Which, by the way, this this game is about to be 11 years old. What the hell? I genuinely feel like 10 years is less than, is less significant than 11. I don't know what it is about 11 years old. That's like absurd to me. Anyways, I'm gonna kind of I should stop going in the same route. Stop. I don't know why I shot his body. I hope that guy doesn't get mega toxic on me. Nice kill. I deserve that. Why did I just stop? Why did I just stop moving? I was trying to snake. I fell straight for his trap. Gotta reload. This guy's name is QS, by the way. Yeah. I I mean, I know it's like crazy to have like, holy shit, that guy's name is so short, that's incredible. But also, I mean like, these are the only people playing Modern Warfare 3 right now. I guarantee you, every time you play Modern Warfare 3, you're gonna find at least one guy with a four letter or less name. That's basically guaranteed, or any old Call of Duty for that matter. Except maybe Black Ops 2. Like anything like COD 4 to Modern Warfare 3, I guarantee you will find someone with a four letter or less name. And usually it's just a bunch of rad random gibberish too. It's not like spelling out anything real. I'm not exempt though. I'm, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm named Zovan. What the fuck is a Zovan? So I have my YouTube name. Well, I was I was gonna name it Afnova, but it said there's a swear word in it, even though there isn't. So I don't know what's up with that. All right.